Churialba. What a journey to get here. It took us four hours, but actually the roads were in pretty good condition. Better than La Fortuna Drive. Um, anyway, we're gonna hike a volcano tomorrow. And also there's no AC in here, so it's a little stuffy. No fan or nothing, but that's okay. The view is gonna be really good from the balcony tomorrow. It's currently like 5.30 a.m. I just woke up. Uh, we're at like a, a very local hotel in Turiabla. We're about to hike an active volcano. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I don't think it has really like set in that we're actually about to hike to a top of an active volcano and look down into it until this morning. Why? Because there's people like right next door. Every morning they have breakfast ready for us here at the hotel. And this is the kitchen. Good morning. We are on our way to the active volcano that we are going to be hiking. Turialba Volcano. How are you feeling, Nicholas? I'm feeling very excited because not only is this my first volcano that I'm hiking, it's also active, so that's super <laughs> exciting. Um, yeah, super pumped. In her rain gear. How does that look? Looks good. You ready for the hike? wooden chairs overlooking the mist. So heavily, my heart is pounding. From a view is the Talamanca mountain range. Technically, that's the Andes mountain range too. Oh, wow. That belongs to it. And don't forget you are visiting the country with more national parks in the world. The 27% of the country is under one category of conservation. <laughs> we just learned that the water system back there is the only source of water that the families, 14 families have on the mountain and it runs down from the top of the volcano. So that system fills up and then they connect it to the hose and that's how they have water. So always grateful. <laughs> Here's more of that water system that's running down. It's not smoke, it's steam. Steam, sorry. <laughs> Selfie. Son 22,500 dólares personas más 12 dólares que le evacuaron. Here's a shelter in case of emergencies. Shelters that we use for the ballistic problem. That one there. We're at the top of the crater. The visibility wasn't that great. We got some view, but now we're actually going to go to the very top point and look down in. Um, 
it's absolutely freezing up here, so wear appropriate clothing. Yeah. Wow. We are absolutely wow. on top of a active volcano. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel very good. I feel crazy. I want to feel a rumble. Clear. So good. See, well, it's the same one. Look at that. It's the same one that produced that effect. So that'll give you an idea about how dangerous could be a volcano. The final push. She's barely holding. She's barely holding on. We never recapped the volcano hike experience. So we're gonna recap now, even though it's the next day, go. So coming from Turrialba, there's one turn that you can make that takes you up kind of like a gravel road. And then if you make the second turn, it's a lot better. Um, we took the hard way, so that wasn't that bad, but that's just one thing to note how to get to the actual um, that volcano. Was bad. It was kind of bad, but we had a four-wheel drive car. If we didn't, like, it would have been really, really we bad. We wouldn't have made it. Yeah. But anyway. one, once you actually get to the volcano, it's kind of easy. Like, the people are there. They open up the gate for you. You get in. Um, but then you actually start the hike, and it's literally, like, vertical the entire way to get to the top. It's a pretty difficult hike, I would say. Um, and then once you get to the top, depending on the clarity, like, we got lucky and it was a super cloudy day. We were like, if we get to the top, we might not see anything. And we got to the top and the visibility was very bad, but luckily it cleared up a tiny bit where we could finally like actually see For the like crater. like two minutes it cleared up and we could actually see, see pretty good. Yeah. But if it wasn't for that like two minutes where we could get footage and like see the crater and experience it, I really don't know if the hike would have been <laughs> worth it just to get up there to not even have a view. The guide was giving us a bunch of different oh, yeah. facts, and this is one of 12 active volcanoes that you can hike in the world that is legal, so to they, they do tours to the top of it, and we got to experience one, so that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, it was really cool, and the tour guide was really informational. He told us a lot of stuff, and we like hiking anyway, so it was so, like, good exercise. It was a yeah. good hike, but... Yeah, it was definitely like, it just sucked that we couldn't really see much once we got to the top, but it was $40 a person. It wasn't like it was like 150, like we wasted all this money. Like it was 40 bucks and for 40 bucks, I'd say that was good. Yeah, yeah. Overall, I would rate it like 6.5 out of 10. Just because we yeah. got very unlucky with the views, but they also do a sunrise hike, which the guy said is really awesome, but they only do it once a month and this month. They're doing it on the 30th, which is the day we leave, so we can really do that. I rate it a 7.5. Just because we got to see the visibility. I would probably have been at 6.5 if we didn't see it or lower. Yeah. But. Now, so it's the next day. We are at our hotel, but we just ate breakfast, so we're about to leave. We are probably going to stop in San Jose. We don't have any plans, but we're just going to check it out.
Haley just hassled a street vendor out of this tiny hat. They wanted 3000 but she got it for 1000 No, that's all I had. <laughs> I said, I only have 1000 I'll take it or leave it. He said, it's better than nothing. What'd you get? Piña smoothie. 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 Smoothie